Once upon a time, a small boy and his parents ventured into the jungle for a picnic. The family was enjoying the lovely afternoon when they were attacked by Sher Khan, the man-eating tiger. The family fled but could not outrun Sher Khan. To keep the boy safe, his parents placed him in the nook of a tree and then led the tiger to another part of the jungle. They never returned and the boy was alone. A black panther named Bagheera was passing by and heard the frightened child's cries. He felt pity for the lost boy and brought him to a family of wolves. The wolf mother snuggled the little boy and decided to adopt him. He was so small that she named him Mowgli, which means tadpole. The years passed and Mowgli grew up learning the way of the jungle with his wolf brothers. He learned to hunt from Bagheera, took life lessons from a wise and playful bear named Baloo, and liked to talk with the cunning snake, Ka. By the time Mowgli was ten years old, he was a better hunter than his wolf brothers. Under the supervision of his friends, Mowgli realized that he could do more than the animals. He was smart and agile and even invented something that looked like a boomerang. Mowgli was fishing one morning when some mischievous monkeys started throwing banana skins at him. He tried to stop them, but the monkeys were too fast. Catch us if you can, they laughed. Mowgli ran after them. The monkeys led Mowgli to a strange part of the jungle where their leader, Gobago, was waiting for him. Mowgli was trapped by the monkeys. You're human, Gobago said. Show us how to make fire and then we'll set you free. Mowgli told the monkeys to gather some dry leaves. Then he rubbed two stones against each other and lit a fire. All the monkeys screeched with joy. Mowgli was their hero and they all became good friends. The news that Mowgli had been abducted by monkeys spread quickly through the jungle. Baloo, Ka and Bagheera rushed to rescue Mowgli and were surprised to find him the guest of honor at a monkey celebration. Someone else had heard of Mowgli's abduction, Shere Khan. The deadly tiger had returned to the jungle once more. He hated humans more than anything and wanted to kill the human child. Shere Khan waited until Mowgli was playing alone. When Mowgli saw the tiger, he shook with fear. Shere Khan was about to pounce on Mowgli when Bagheera, Baloo and Ka jumped between them. They warned the wicked Shere Khan not to take another step. Take Mowgli back to the den, Baloo told Ka. Bagheera and I will take care of the tiger. Realizing that he was outnumbered, Shere Khan left, but promised that he would get Mowgli some other time, no matter what. Once the friends were safe at the wolf den, they decided to tell Mowgli the story of how he was found in the nook of a tree and how they suspected that Shere Khan was responsible for killing his parents. You're in danger, Mowgli, Baloo said with a heavy heart. You need to leave the jungle before Shere Khan finds you again. Mowgli did not want to leave the jungle and made up his mind that he would find a way to defeat the tiger before the tiger could defeat him. Mowgli devised a plan to trap Shere Khan. 
He found a cave that housed a giant beehive, and then asked a herd of elephants to help trap the tiger in by blocking the exit. They agreed, and soon it was time to put the plan in motion. Mowgli went to Shere Khan and challenged him to a fight. Shere Khan smiled and began to chase Mowgli. Mowgli led him to the cave. When Shere Khan entered the cave, he gave a mighty roar, waking the bees. The bees attacked Shere Khan, and when the tiger tried to escape, he found the elephants blocking his way. Hundreds of bees stung Shere Khan until he was almost dead. The animals of the jungle were grateful to Mowgli for ridding them of the evil Shere Khan. Mowgli was ready to return to the wolf den, but Baloo was adamant that the jungle was still not safe for Mowgli. It was time for Mowgli to go to the man village and be with his own kind. They reached the village in early morning. Mowgli was protesting about leaving to Bagheera when his eyes fell on a young girl fetching water from the well. Mowgli had never seen another human in his life. He was very curious and crept closer. The girl gave a cry of surprise when she saw the strange jungle boy looking at her from the bushes. The girl's name was Radha. She asked Mowgli if he would like to walk back to the village with her. Mowgli smiled. He didn't understand what Radha was saying, but he did want to follow. Mowgli turned back to his friends and waved goodbye. Bagheera, Baloo, and Ka were glad to see their jungle boy where he belonged. <laughs>